Greetings. Just kidding. Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how I got this look and it's actually really simple. Um, not sure what you would call this. I was kind of thinking like future space traveler or you could call it galactic princess or alien robot since I've got this cool stuff going on. So anyway, um, I just saw the look. I thought I would give it a shot and I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys want to check out more this month, then please subscribe because um, I hope to do a few more Halloween looks. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Alright, so first off I'm showing you guys how I got my hair and I am just doing a ponytail on the top of my head and securing that with a hairband. Now I, I am spraying it with some hairspray to keep it into place. Then I just took a small piece and wrapped that around the base of the ponytail and pinned that in. Next I took some sparkly uh, hairspray. Of course I found the silver kind that I had bought after I filmed the tutorial. Oh well. Now I'm doing this oh so cute step of taping my face into a triangular pattern on either side of my eyes. And now taking a white cream foundation or uh, professional cream makeup um, that you can get at the Halloween store and just dabbing that all over my face. Now I'm taking Jessie Girl's Hi Ho Silver Loose Powder and dabbing that all over the top of it. So for the loose powder that I'm using, I tried a few different techniques. I tried to mix the silver powder with glycerin and I tried mixing it with lotion, but I found it turned out the best if I just put it over the top of the white uh, foundation and then it stuck out a lot more. Um, also, I recommend using a primer before you do all of this so that way it stays in place really nicely all night. Now I'm just taking a dark blue shade called Risky Renee by The Balm and just shading that on the outer edges to give it some depth. And I just did a cat eye. It didn't film very well so I just edited most of that out since you couldn't see me. Adding some mascara and now doing the fun part. I'm taking an essence eyeliner and just drawing on this kind of computer board looking design. And now I'm taking some lash glue and on some of those dots, putting the glue on and gluing on some rhinestones. Another option is using spirit gum and that should really hold it into place. Now I'm taking these Fright Night lashes called Pixie Dust and I'm just applying those. Next I'm going to grab my dark blue shadow again and just add that to the crease a little bit just because the eyeliner was um, starting to wear off in the crease there. Now taking these fun technicolored sparkles and adding those to the corner of my eyes and taking off the tape. It's a little bit messy so just using some makeup remover and a q-tip to clean up the edges. Now adding back in my foundation and a little bit of concealer. Now I'm doing a little bit of contouring with my regular bronzer and grabbing that blue color again and just adding that to the hollows of my cheeks and down the edges of my nose and by my cupid's bow and underneath my nose. Next, taking a black lipstick, and I actually wanted to do a dark blue lipstick, but when I went to go buy a blue liner, I ended up getting a waterproof liner, which did not stay on, so be careful and look at the label before you buy it. Now I'm taking this fun color, um, called Glow Stick by Jessie Girl in the color Wicked. Ooh. And just touching up my eyebrows. Now I'm going back in, doing a few little touch-ups, some highlighting, some powder. 
and that is pretty much close to the final look. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm going to show you guys a look where I used alternative lashes. And <laughs> that is about it. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a fun and safe Halloween.